Previously on Banjo Tooie. Ik dip zakum elven ik tesoka zukiel non dukikus. Well, I think we can uh, stand to do one last thing before we finish up here. Let's go to Wumba's Wigwam. Or is it? Yeah, it's Wumba. Wumba Wumba. And I think we can actually uh, see this transformation that she wants us to use. Oh god, we're stoned! Wumba call this stony. Use control stick to move and press B for big heap barge attack. Okay, well. We're stoned. Thank you, Rareware. You've made us stoned. Good job. After all that praise I gave you, you're gonna turn us into a stoned freak. I loathe you, Rare... No, I don't. I don't loathe you. You're still a great company. It's just... It's clear that you have a drug problem. It's just that clear. This will us to grab that honeycomb piece, which means we are actually done with those in this world. Next, we're gonna go to the prison compound. Because now that we're stoned, let's see if we can maybe get the attention of our friend over here. To free the trapped one, the sun must rise before the moon, and a star, a second moon, and a second sun will then follow. Okay, so... Ah, one more time. I forgot the last two. Okay, sun, moon, star, moon, sun. So it's a palindrome, actually. Well, that makes sense. So, we have the sun, moon, star, moon, sun. Yay, it's a rat. Hello, rat. Hello, my little rabid friend. <laughs> Me, Delberta, was out looking for gold when that boulder fell down and trapped me in here. I suppose you expect us to move it? Eek, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, I don't know. Golden Goliath can't seem to fit in here. Hmm. I'm stumped. Dumped. I'll have to figure this out later. Sorry, Dilberta. You're gonna have to wait there for a while. I know it seems cruel to just leave a mouse like that, especially with the door open. And with a lot of other enemies probably coming in there to beat her with a giant club, but she's just gonna have to wait. These aren't the rules I'm making, these are the rules that they have to live by. It's a cruel and unfortunate world, and I don't like it, but... It's just... It's the way it's gotta be. Otherwise, anarchy will rule the world. I'm Banjo the Stony. Can I come in and play? Hmm, I don't know. That backpack looks kind of familiar. Are you saying we're a barren bird in an elaborate disguise trying to cheat our way in? Yep, it's pretty obvious. But they're a bit short on players, so you might as well go in anyway. So he clearly said that he didn't believe us and he doesn't trust us, but he's going to let us in anyway. Okay, well... Clearly, Grunty's troops have not increased in intelligence. Welcome to the Mayan Amateur Kickball Championship. You may enter the quarterfinals, but I'd advise you take a little training downstairs first. I don't need to train. 
I'm ready for this. I know how to play kickball. You just kick a ball and run around the bases, right? This doesn't look like kickball. This looks more like, more like soccer. Yeah, this is definitely soccer. And the goal is we need to get the most points in our goal. I don't think it's going to matter. I'm too far ahead. You've won your quarterfinal. Move on to the semifinals. And this is the way this is going to be. And uh, this is probably my favorite part of Banjo Tooie the mini games. There's so many mini games in this game, and they're all really, really good. Those shorts look stupid. No, they don't. You're just jealous because you're not wearing any. Anyway, we have red balls now, and what red balls do is they actually decrease score. So you want to use the red balls on whoever your biggest competition is at that point. So, like, right now, I'm going to have problems with both the yellow and purple from the look of it. Well, they're still pretty weak, though. I seem to be kicking ass. You've won your semi-final. The Mayan kickball final beckons. Okay, well let's take on the finals then. Okay, here we go. Now we have bombs. Bombs don't give you any points or anything like that. They mainly explode on impact with your uh, competition here. And right now, oh my god, purple is cleaning up. I need to shut him down before he tries to win this thing. Now we need to stop Red from winning. Oh goody, I still won. Okay, good. That did get a little closer, though, but... I'm still gonna reign supreme as champion. Alright! Jiggy number, I believe that's nine for this world. In fact, we can actually check our totals. We have everything but one Jiggy, and I believe that's the way it's supposed to be, because uh, there's one Jiggy we cannot get yet. And expect that to be a running theme of this game as well. There's going to be a lot of Jiggies that we'll need to come back at a later date to get. One of the few things I don't really care about for this game, probably my biggest disappointment, I guess, is that there is so much backtracking, and you can't really play the game like you played Banjo-Kazooie, where it's like, okay, I can do this world, knock it out, and then move on to the next one. In this game, it's a lot of moving back and forth, and it almost makes more sense to not even do any backtracking until the end of the game. But I'm not going to do that. I'll do backtracking as I go throughout the game. 
it's not a big deal. But yeah, that's going to do it for uh, Mayhem Temple for right now. Let's go ahead and go to the entrance and exits. We'll come back for that other jiggy later when we have the means to actually grab it. But until then, it's been fun. I didn't go in the right place, did I? Nope. Yeah, right. Uh, you go down the stairs over here. <laughs> My bad. Sorry about that. This place was just so much fun, I didn't want to leave. Clearly, that's the reason. Well, let's go ahead and uh, pay Jiggy Wiggy a visit again. Oh, wow, we can actually do the next puzzle. And probably the one after that, too. Okay, what do we have this time? Ah. No, no, no. I can't see where the puzzle pieces go. I'm a terrible puzzle person. My mom's gonna be very disappointed in me. Doing jigsaw puzzles is actually one of those activities I really, really like doing, especially with my parents and my family. It stimulates the mind, and it's just fun to do. Well, that will open World 2. That's what I thought. I believe for this one you need 8, so yeah, we can do it. Well, let's get this one over with, too. Oh god, this world's actually exciting me. This is the world that we're uh, doing the picture of now is probably my favorite world in the entire game. Gotta admit, I'm really, really looking forward to it. I feel like it's the world where things really start to just start ramping up in quality in a very good way. Not the quality's been bad, it's just that when you get to this world, it's just really, really awesome. No entry, screw that! <laughs> it's probably one of my all time favorite world openings how a giant laser hits a rusty old gate and just, still just like creaks open like a normal gate. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. This game, this game is awesome. I really love it. But now, let's see what we can do. I think we can uh, move on and uh, start collecting some things. I'm not going to start the next world in this video or this uh, recording session, but I am going to at least uh, get to the next area, at the very least, anyway.
Oh, come on. No, come on. There we go. Stupid jerk who tried to bite me from the wall. Don't you realize that that's a very, very poor thing to do with your life? Try pick up picking up painting or something. Now there's something you would actually enjoy doing. Painting. It's fun. I like painting. Uh-oh, I hear Jinjo. Where is he? Oh god, he's probably under this rock. Oh no! How will we ever rescue him? I don't think he'll ever be rescued at this rate. Guys, I think that Jinjo is just too far gone. You can't rescue him. There's quite literally no way. Oh, quest over. We lost. No, 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 I don't want to hear any of that false hope crap. It's, it's lost. It's over. I mean, would you like it if I put you under a rock? And if I couldn't get you out, would you be saying, Oh, continue the quest. You can do it. No, no. False hope. That's not going to work. But I hear something that will work. Now's the time for you to learn shooting eggs that crackle and burn. Oh, fire eggs. A brand new egg you have acquired. Now I'll tell you how they're fired. Tap R to get your eggs on view. Tap it again until it's right for you. Okay, well... We have fire eggs now. We can switch between our normal eggs and our fire eggs. And we can quite literally light the world on fire. See this switch? Oh, that switch is no more. No more indeed. Well, I would go on and venture through that tunnel, but... I think I'm actually going to end it there. We have a world in front of us. Let's take a look down and see what we have. Huh, darkness. We can light it, but it doesn't seem to get any lighter. Well, I guess we'll uh, figure out what's down there next time. Uh, this has been Slum Kirby. This has been Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. I will see you guys next time. Star Warriors, thanks for watching. Later, folks.